All right, welcome back. It's D back with another review for you guys. Check out the 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee uh, Altitude and nice uh, white color. Check it out. Give you guys a quick walk around. I think it's all washed up. It's looking pretty good and nice. Uh, I think it's what it's called bright white. Pretty nice, though. With all the black accents. And I didn't grab an L, I just wanted to grab the just normal body. Oh, it's Alpha 2 X, sorry about that. You don't really see a lot, I don't really see a lot of these, all I see is the L's. But uh, starting up front, with the lower trims, you just get this uh, amber running light. Uh, no, uh, you know, DRL, like white LED, but you do get LED headlights as well. It looks pretty good with that amber at night. Uh, no fog lights. Just give you the bright LEDs. You do got this nice uh, gloss black piece running into the underneath the headlights. Pretty nice. Got the seven slots. Big grill. Got your radar right there. Black Jeep badge. Wheels. Big 20 inches. Uh, rims of 265 50R20. Nice Bridgestone tires. Got your black mirror cap with your integrated turn signal. Sunroof. No chrome, so you got the black. Look pretty good. You already have all that chrome. Get your black Grand Cherokee script with your American flag. Come around to the back. It's pretty good back here as well. Full LED tail lights. Pretty simple. Looks good though. Got your rear parking sensors. Got your receiver underneath that. Exhaust is kind of tucked away. You get power lift gate. Like I said, this is not a L, just a normal body. So you get your big um, storage. You guys like that. Got this cigarette style charger right here. Pretty nice. Like I said, big uh, room spare tire. I believe this is a, maybe a 17 or 18 inch. Kind of ugly though. You got the jack right there. And so you fold those seats on, probably get like a 65 inch TV, probably. You know, if the seats up a little bit, but pretty nice. You guys can hold this uh, to the desired height, you know, for shorter people, or if you want to open it in your a garage, whatever, just hold that. But press it and it beeps and uh, get out of the way and do a thing. Interior on the altitude, that's pretty nice. Got some nice leather. I love this. Um, I don't even know what they call it, but it's like somewhat like gloss black, kind of. Not really. Just a basically flat plastic, but it got like little dimples in it. Nice leather with the perforated inside. Suede inserts. Pretty nice. Got your armrest cup holders. As I mentioned, sunroof. Coming down here, you get all your controls. Your uh, charging, I mean. Two USB C's, two USBs. Got your house outlet right there. And, um, got your claim events wrapped in gloss black. Pretty nice though. Fold the seat down, just pull that. Boom, 60 40. Pretty nice. You guys can see that design. I was almost like some little indentations in it to give it a little bit of design. You get blind spot monitoring, a little triangle if you guys can see it right there. You know, keyless entry is always tapped at the lock. Grab the door handle to unlock. Or the key fob for people that's traditional. Nice leather with the white stitching up here. Pretty nice. Like the same uh, leather with the perforated suede inside. It's pretty nice. White stitching. No power seats. This sucks. There's the key five you do get your most heart though. Back then they didn't even give you your most heart. Now they don't even give you um they give you your most heart, but they don't give you the power seats. Guess you gotta take some. Lose some. Don't know. Nice leather armrest though. Got the leather on the dash right there. Like I said, the same uh it's like a little bit indentations in it to give it a little bit of design. Got that aluminum piece right there. Go around to the driver's side. Check out 
the window sticker. But I forgot to mention it's an Altitude X, so a little bit nicer interior. But here's the window sticker. Like I said, it's bright white color. So that's the pause that if you like. 48,000 with the X and MSRP. Here's the Altitude X package. Let's get all those. Like I said, a little bit nicer interior. Gloss black accents. There's the 22 combined, 19 city, 26 highway. Check out the back seats again. Pretty nice. I'll probably take the Altitude X, pay a little bit more money for a little bit, you know, nicer things. I would do wish they give you the big 10 inch uh, screen, but. Here's what it is. You get the 8.4 inch. You get auto uh, windows, driver and passenger. You do get power seats and power lumbar on the driver's seat, which is kind of like whatever, like standard now, I guess. So, big, nice, uh, comfortable seats. Nice stuff when you close the door. There's your light controls and your parking brake and stuff down there. Like a full LED, the LCD um, gauge cluster. If you're familiar with Chrysler, this basically controls that. So you got your driver setting, trip information, radio, you got some Wale plan. Pretty uh, straightforward. You can change this to digital or analog gauges if you like. It's kind of like that. Got the shortcut menu right here. Boom. Got your uh, radio, not radio, your uh, phone controls. Got some paddle shifters. This is all for your adaptive cruise control. You know, such a following distance and whatnot. Or you can see you got your regular cruise control. Nice leather steering wheel with some aluminum. Like I said, that, um, I don't even know what to call it, but it's Jeep. So, I'm trying to give you a little bit nicer thing. So, it's pretty nice though. Backup camera. Pretty crisp and clear. You got your you know, guidelines. Like I said, it's only an 8.4 inch screen, so pretty small, but you still get the same features as the other ones. You know, you can change what you want to see, add widgets. Right now, it's just the radio, XM radio and the phone. You can add more widgets or, you know, maximize that up. So, that's yeah, home screen. So, you got your drivers and whatnot. Still the same things, just a little bit smaller screen. Got your valet mode or whatnot. Got a little shortcut menu right here for your heated and uh, heated seats and heated steering wheel. Turn your, you know, climbing on. Got your media, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, phone, and your controls, or your vehicle controls, or whatnot. And your UConnect apps. Pretty nice. Different categories, or whatnot. Pretty nice, though. So up here, you do get your idle stop start, your lane keep, your uh, traction control parking sensors and you got a little sport mode right there get a little checker flag pretty nice coming down here you do get heated seats like i said heated seats heated steering wheel you know heated seats driver and passenger got your um you know h uh controls for your climbing controls up, up there pretty standard all in gloss black coming down here you get two usb c's and two usbs nice cigarette style charger wireless charging pad if you saw it was blinking red it was letting me know that you can't you know you got metal objects right there and it would um basically blink red so you know get that out of there so a nice gloss black cover uh, cover gloss black right there is your dial same um i don't even know what to call it but it looks nice just simple i guess with jeep like i said you got your sunroof you know, you open, close it. It's your controls right there. And now you got your SOS, light controls, all standard things. And your sunglass holder. Or well, sunglasses holder, I mean. But uh, yeah, the thing is pretty nice, though. So. Give you guys another shot of this interior. You know, altitude X looks a little bit uh, nicer. Show you guys this uh, old reliable V6, Pentastar V6. Check it out. 
I should have just put the Hemis in here just for our last hoorah. But uh, I'll give you guys a final walk around. See those DRL, I mean those uh, amber lights aren't on. Your headlights are basically your DR, uh, DRLs. But at night, those lights are on, so. Looks pretty good. You guys will find a walk around. Need some tinted windows and you'd be good to go. Really. Pretty simple. Pretty cold day. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this uh, Grand Cherokee, man. Would you buy it? Let me know. This is D. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.